For those of you that don't want to update your iPhone to iOS 14, and here is the video how to get all of those features from iOS 14 to your iOS 13. And now let me talk about iOS 14 first. And as you may know, iOS 14, we have um, the widgets feature where you can add the widgets to your home screen. And we have the similar tweak that does the same thing as on iOS 14. Now on my iPhone 8 here on iOS 13, you can see I have the battery widgets. And this is the tweak called AS widgets where you can apply the widgets on your home screen. Now to add a widget, you can just simply hold on the icon. After that, you can click on the free space and you can select the widgets that are available here. With iOS 14, you may have already experienced picture-in-picture -picture mode where you can play the video from Safari and they are still playing on your home screen. Now when I go to Safari here, I can just click on that. When I click on my home button, it's gonna bring me back to um, the home screen, but the video is still playing. On iOS 13, we have similar trick. Um, it does the same way. Now, for example, I can just watch the video right here. Um, but for this one, I have to manually click on the button in order to enable picture-in-picture -picture mode. But however, it does share similar feature. Now, let me sample on this video. So I can just um, click on here. And then we, uh, we have the button on the top where you can enable picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now when I go back to my home screen, the video is still playing on my home screen. You have a new feature on iOS 14 where you can search emoji. For example, when you go to message and you go to emoji, and when you enable the emoji keyboard, you have the top here where you can search emoji. And I have the tweak that share similar feature too. It is called take emoji. Now when you have already installed it, you can just go back. Now let me go back to message. I can just go to symbol and where I can click on here. And after that, it will pop up a bunch of emoji. So it is slightly different, but it shares similar feature just like iOS 14. With message on iOS 14, you can pin your favorite person to the top where you can just swipe from here. And then it is going to pin to the top. And we have the similar tweak as well. We have pinny where you can um, pin to the top as well. And you have normal and we have compact. And normal, it looks exactly the same as iOS 14. Now let me go back to my message on iOS 13 here. And you can see um, I have some of the person here. They have been pinned to the top. And now to pin another message, you can just simply do just like on iOS 14. You can just file like that. And after that, it's going to pin that message straight away. App library is a big change on iOS 14. You have a bunch of apps that combine together here. And you can just quickly go to this app. And now I have similar tweak, but um, we have different interface. But it is fine. It is similar to um, app library on iOS 14 as well. But um, this one, it is much more convenient. You can just file like that. This application, you can change and choose um, your favorite one. And these are the application that I example for you. So I can just go to the App Store by clicking on that. And you can customize in setting. You can go back to setting. And then you can select your application. And you can select your favorite one. And after that, you can also resize the slider here. And we have um, this one. You can resize. And you can see it is changed. Apple has been redesigned Siri on iOS 14. And you can only see the Siri icon. But we have similar feature on iOS 13 where you have um, the similar here, you have small Siri and you can see I have small Siri at the bottom and you can just go to the tweak and you can also change the position to either on the top or at the bottom it is customizable compared to iOS 14 one more tweak that I want to share for iOS 13 that shares similar feature to iOS 14 it is called Air Pop-Up Connect for this one I cannot demonstrate you because I don't own the AirPod but what I can tell you, this is the tweak that gonna um, enable the connect button. Whenever you open the lid um, on the AirPod case, 
and so when you open it um, it always pop up with the connect button so even though you use multiple device it doesn't make you annoyed because you can um, you can always connect to your airport so you can see the connect button uh, when it did pop up this is one of the feature from iOS 14 where you can just um, double tap at the back of your phone to take a photo like take a screenshot or you can do multiple actions but uh, we have similar tweak here on iOS 13. It is called Activator. It has been around in a while uh, where you can just um, use the accent as well and I can select on anywhere. For example, I can just um, select the accent that I want to do. Um, this one I'm gonna take a screenshot. So I'm gonna select on double tap the left status bar. So I can just select on here. And after that, I can select on the accent. And for me, I choose um, screenshot so when I double tap on the left of my status bar it just take a screenshot you can see it is flashing and you can see the Y pop up here with iOS 14 you have also got a new feature on your airport tool where you're gonna um, receive the notification when your airport is battery low and we have similar tweak on iOS 13 where you can just install airports cash low battery and you can toggle both of these options on and whenever your airport hit um, the battery low, it's gonna give you the notification on your phone. We have Scorpion. It is a tweak for iOS 13. And this is the tweak that gonna um, give you a new redesign on call, just like on iOS 14. So on iOS 14, whenever you receive the call, you have the compact call on the top. So it doesn't interrupt you while you are using your phone like um, for example, you go into Facebook and you surf it and then it doesn't interrupt you and it is the same as on iOS 13 with the tweaks uh, where you can install Scorpion here and then you can receive the call on the top so it doesn't interrupt you. One last tweak that I want to show you here with iOS 14 you can also um, hide your app and bring it to app library and we have similar tweak that does the same thing on iOS 13 here. It is called Hide Your Apps, where you can select the application on your Springboard, and then you can completely hide it from your home screen. And you can just go to Select Apps to Hide here, and enable um, the app that you want to hide, and then respring. And after that, um, your app will be high. And these are all the tweaks that bring iOS 14 features to your iOS 13, and I hope you enjoy it. And then I will see you guys in the next one.